Well, hi and welcome to another live training session. As always, we'll be looking at the markets now in real time and seeing what's going to happen over the next few hours and also answer some questions that have come in over the last couple of days. And don't forget that if you're around when I record these live sessions, you're more than welcome to come and give me a call on Skype and I'll take the call live whilst we're looking at the markets or just shoot a question over on Twitter and I'll pick that up as well. All contact details are on the website. Right, let's make a start. Well, hi and welcome to another hi and welcome to another training video and uh, listen we, we we had a great video on yesterday put up by chris and what i thought i'd do is just add to that video so um you know just to finish it well not to finish it off really it's a bit of an insult really it was a great video and it was complete in in complete in every way but i just thought i'd like add a few bits to it okay now one of the one of the questions uh, we get a lot is that um, when a market uh, doesn't put in the two um, blue beef bars as you can see here when it doesn't put these in so in other words we've got a yellow and then a blue so people say well, what, what are we gonna do how are we going to trade this today and he so said we haven't had this now for like two days so again over here it didn't occur. and i always say to them look when this happens you what you do is you stay with the original one or the one that the last one you had you stay with that and you keep trading off of that one and you trade either strength or weakness according to that which is exactly what Chris did in his video. You can see here that we've got the two blue bars here. He got the TFT set up correctly on the, uh, the one spot 5091. And uh, then he waited for that. And you can see the market broke away. And I think a couple of pat traders got onto this. Great. That's, that's fine. That's great. They made money there. And um, the market then comes back down here. But it's coming back down against that underlying strength. And uh, again, same thing happened again, coming back down again against here. Still hadn't got the opportunity. But what Chris did, of course, was get over onto his 15-minute chart, which we'll do now. Call that up onto there. Let's make a 15-minute full size. And uh, we'll just kill off, uh, get rid of all the all the lines so we can start again fresh. Um, we've already put the line on the four-hour chart, haven't we? So all I'm going to do now is just click on this, and that'll put it back exactly where that was. So you can see, one spot, 5091. So that's where it was. And that's what Chris was working from. So he gets up, and as he says in his video, his dog was a bit poorly, so he got up a little bit early, and I had a quick look at his chart, and around about 7 o'clock he saw this. Now what we've got here, you see the market comes down, we've got high volume, we've got a definite nice clean turn up there, very lot of power comes out of that. And what is he using? He's using his underlying strength, because he's above the TFT tool, which are the three yellow lines he's put down here. And then the market gets in and starts to move up. But before that happens, he says that he mentions that, okay, there was a, has a high volume turn that made him tweak a little bit. He thought, oh, you know, okay, that's a, a bit of a, maybe something might be going on there. And of course, quite justifiably uh, thinking that and feeling that, but we were against the underlying uh, underlying strength so of course Chris is thinking okay well yes I have seen a high volume turn here and yes you know it has kicked it off down but it is against that underlying strength so Chris has got his stop under here uh, obviously perfect place to put it because that's the, the basis of the of the high volume turn and then once again the market comes down and puts in another high volume and again turns again so a really um, a beautiful opportunity there as it goes through now of course we want our, our exit don't we so we're, what we're going to do is we pop on our 90 pips tool now I don't know if Chris actually um, I traded this right the way through because it didn't say in the video, but that's okay because we don't want to, um, a Chris to put a, every one of his actual uh, information on there. So people are sort of copying that. That's not the way forward now to learn. So, um, yeah, pop the uh, TFT tool, um, sorry, the trade range finder tool, 90 pip tool onto the start of the move, which is down here. And we want our exit. Where's our exit? Follow that all the way up. There's our exit at the top line there, which is at 52.11. You can see the high there goes through uh, to 52.13. So not bad, 92 pips. I mean, come on, we're, we're close enough, isn't it? The 90 pips tool is, is pretty close, a pretty accurate tool. And incidentally, you can actually see the market then comes off later down and just pops back down to the 90 pips again and then messes around there for uh, for a while. But, uh, you know, we're not interested in that because... Um, you know, quite honestly, we haven't got that underlying. We've got this underlying strength, and that's not something that we want to be trading against. Okay, so that pretty much um, just, a, just really an add, an add on there to Chris's video. Thanks very much for that, Chris. It was a fantastic video. Uh, really did show um, the you know the other users the simplicity of what we do. Now, I hasten to add, of course, Chris is able to make this look simple. You know, it is simple. Okay, but you know, again, understand Chris been doing a lot of years, so he's gone through all that noise and all that nonsense of looking for trades where they not don't exist he, he's gone beyond that and, and now he's sort of settled down thinking okay well i'm just going to wait for the opportunities that's how i make my money waiting for those opportunities tight stops trade on through and that's exactly what you should be doing so should you be copying chris 
Uh, no, yes. No, you shouldn't be copying Chris in so much that you're looking at Chris's video and saying, oh, that's exactly where I should have gone on at that point. Um, but what you should be doing is looking at Chris's video and saying, OK, right, I can see the complete process of what he's doing. I can see what he's learned over the years. And that's what I want to mirror is that overall package of understanding of the market and how it plays out. So, um, OK, we'll bring this one to a close now. Thanks very much again uh, for your time watching these. And uh, I'll get this up for you now and uh, catch up with you on the very next video complete training solution. If you're not a member of the PAT team then maybe you'd like to have a look. We have an active forum where you can come take a look at what we do in more depth and you get to communicate with PAT users and find out what they're up to and how they're doing. If you'd like to pop in and have a look then when this video finishes shoot over to learntotrade.com, find the big button that says visit the forum, click on that and you'll go to the forum registration page. Top right corner of that page you'll see a button that says create account. Click that, fill out your subscription details and before you know it even if you don't have PAT software, you'll quickly see how transparent markets are and how you can profit from them when you truly understand how the market maker's method works. I'll see you on the other side.